dream you'll be. Go to bed, each sleepy child, and dream what dreams you might. Dreaming's good most any time, but especially at night. Dream you'll be a movie star with your name lit up in lights. Or that you'll be a superhero flying around in tights. Would you like to be a doctor saving people's lives? Or perhaps a beekeeper tending buzzing hives. What if you're a musketeer? Fighting battles with your sword. Or a world-class surfer catching waves upon your board. Whoa. Maybe you're an architect designing a brand new city. Or are you a writer telling stories warm and witty? <laughs> You could be a brave firefighter running through a fire. Or a fearless acrobat high upon a wire. Whoa. Perchance you'll be a dancer leaping across the floor. Or maybe a soccer star with the winning score. How about a veterinarian curing a giant snake? Yeah. Or a skillful baker baking a giant cake? Mm. See yourself as a teacher helping children think. Or a figure skater gliding around a rink. You'd make a fine police officer, saving people in distress. Or a bold explorer finding the monster of Loch Ness. Imagine you're an astronaut bouncing on the moon. Or maybe you're a famous rocker belting out a tune. Yeah! Dream that you're a pirate sailing oceans blue. Or a brilliant scientist finding something new. Whoa! Do you wish you were a pilot soaring to great heights? Or a clever artist painting the world's great sights? Maybe you're a mountaineer climbing to the summit. Or a fearless skydiver whose job it is to plummet. You could be a football player winning games with teammates. Or maybe you're the president of these United States. This world is full of many things to dream that you can be. Just remember, you're already the most precious thing to me. Now, 
Close your eyes, each sleepy child, and dream what dreams you may. I'll see you in the morning when you start a brand new day. If you don't have books, what are you waiting for? It's a kid-safe, ad-free library full of storybooks brought to life. My favorite story on books is the unicorn and horse because the horse feels like he's, well, not beautiful, but he actually is. I'm going to explore more on books, and you should too. Don't wait around. Ask your grown-up and start exploring more fun stories like these. You'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. For more stories, try the Vox app for free today.